Welcome to day five, which is section five, solving inequalities. So we're going to solve one-step and multi-step inequalities. This is very similar to section three when we solved equations, but now we're going to be throwing in inequalities, and then we're going to have to graph them. You learned this in algebra one and in geometry and probably in middle school too, so this should be a review. Today's entire video is no calculator, so if you have that out, you can put it away. So let's jump right in. For any two numbers, A and B, so if I have any two numbers, either A has to be less than B, A has to be greater than B, or A has to be equal to B. Okay, so this case right here, we've already done. Those are just solving equations. These two cases are what we're going to focus on today. So we're going to focus on the case of having two expressions or two numbers that are not equal, where one is smaller. So one property when we're solving inequalities is that adding or subtracting numbers from either side of an inequality does not change the truth of the inequality. These are called the addition and subtraction properties of inequality. Because you've done this before, we're going to just jump right into an example. So example number one, it says solve the inequality and graph the solution on a number line. Okay, so I have y subtract 6 is less than 3. So you're going to solve this as if it were an equal sign. So if I'm subtracting 6, the inverse of that would be adding 6. So I get y is less than 9. So 3 add 6 is 9. Okay, that's the solving part. Now we have to graph. Okay, so our number line definitely has to have a 9 on it, so I would put that in the middle. Then we're going to go up 10, 11, go down 8, 7. Okay, so something to remember about graphing. If you have less than or greater than, it's going to be an open circle. If you have an equal sign, it's going to be a closed circle. So in this case, I'm going to put an open circle at 9. And then my inequality says y is less than 9, so I'm going to shade the less than direction. Please don't just necessarily shade in the direction of the inequality. So some of you think, well, my inequality is facing left, so I'm going to shade left. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. This one means less than So in a case like this, Whatever is on the open side, this is bigger. This is the greater than side, and this is the less than side. So in our inequality, it's saying y is smaller than 9. So that should be review. Because it's review, I'm going to let you do an example. So example 2, solve the inequality and graph on a number line. Pause the video and do this one on your own, and come back when you are finished, please. Okay, let's see how we did. So we have 5x subtract 3 is greater than or equal to 4x at 2. So the first thing that I probably would have done is subtract this 4x. 5x subtract 4x gives me x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Add 3, I get x is greater than or equal to 5. So that's the solution that you should have gotten. On your number line then, 5 goes in the middle. Because there's an equal sign, so it's greater than or equal to, I'm going to shade over the 5. Okay, because the bigger end is open towards the x, that means x is greater. So x is those numbers greater than 5, bigger than 5. So that's shading everything to the right. How do we do? Hopefully, well, if not, hopefully you see what mistake you made. So we do have a few more examples and another um, note to take. So if you would flip the page, please. Okay, so I'm not sure if you remember this, for, but multiplying or dividing an inequality by a negative number will flip the inequality. If 
by flip the inequality, I mean flip the direction. So if it's less than, it'll become greater than. So let's look at this next example. So I have negative 6 multiplied by negative 4 v plus 3 is less than or equal to 3 times 10 v plus 3. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to distribute on both sides. So I'm going to distribute the negative 6. I'm going to distribute the 3. So negative 6 times negative 4 is going to give me positive 24v minus 18. It's less than or equal to 30v plus 9. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract 30v from both sides. 24 subtract 30 is going to give me negative 6v minus 18 is less than or equal to 9. If I add 18 to both sides, I get negative 6v is less than or equal to 27. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this. So negative 6v is less than or equal to 27. I'm going to divide by negative 6. I get v, okay, so here I divided by a negative, so I flip the inequality. So instead of being less than, it becomes greater than now. I have 27 divided by negative 6. Both of those are divisible by 3, so this becomes 9 over negative 2. So I get v is greater than or equal to 9 over negative 2. Okay, so that's the solving part. Now I have to graph. Now, in order to graph 9 over negative 2, it's better to set that equal to a decimal. So 8 divided by 2 would be 4. So 9 divided by 2 is going to be 4.5, and it's going to be a negative because I'm divided by negative 2. So I'm going to have negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 6, negative 7. Okay, it's going to be a closed circle at negative 4.5. So halfway between negative 4 and negative 5. And then the inequality, the bigger side is, side is towards the v, so v is everything bigger than that. So everything greater than that is going to be to the right. So you have to remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you're going to flip the inequality. Now if you add or subtract by a negative number, that's not the case. It's only when you multiply or divide. Okay, so now let's look at the example that you're going to do. So it says solve and graph. I would like you to pause the video and try this one on your own, please. Come back when you are finished. Good luck. Okay, let's see how we did. So I'm going to start by rewriting the problem. So I have 8y is greater than or equal to negative 5y plus 9 all over negative 4. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to notice you have is you have y's on both sides. Now, right away, we can't get all the y's to the same side because of that negative 4. So the first thing you have to do is get rid of that negative 4. Now I'm dividing by negative 4, so the inverse of that would be to multiply both sides by negative 4. So on the left side, I'm left with negative, negative 32y. On the right side, those negative 4s cancel, so I'm left with negative 5y plus 9. Okay, because you multiplied by a negative number, you should have remembered to flip the inequality. So hopefully you did that. Okay, you're going to then add 5y to both sides. Your final answer should be y is greater than or equal to negative 1 third. If you didn't get that, then you did something wrong. When you graphed that, you should put 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. You should know that negative 1 thirds is between 0 and negative 1, and it's closer to 0. So I'm going to put a closed circle about there. And then it's greater, so everything to the right of that. So this is what your graph should have looked like. Now, remember, if you got the wrong um, inequality to end with, then your graph is going to be wrong. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask your teacher tomorrow. 
We have one more thing to go over, and that's writing an inequality given a description. So looking at example five, 19 more than a number is less than 42. So 19 more, that's going to be 19 plus 19 more than a number. So then some number x is less than 42. So that's the answer to example five. Example six, one half of a number, so one half of a number, so one half x is more than, is more than six less than the same number. Okay, this one's tricky, six less than the same number. If I'm taking the same number and I'm doing six less than that, that means I'm taking the same number and I'm subtracting six. So in this case, it's x minus six, not six minus x. So you really have to make sure you think about what it's saying. Six less than the same number. So take the same number and make it six less, subtract six. Okay, example seven is yours to do. Five less than the product of six and a number is no more than twice that same number. Okay, when you come to class tomorrow, we will go over this. Please make sure to remind your teacher to go over this in case she or he forgets. Good luck and see you tomorrow.